Good day and welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to be taking on a project. Uh, we're doing a little renovation and we have some furniture that's pretty solid. And so we want to change the color to match our new furniture. This looks like a, a solid piece of wood here. Uh, we did pick it up at a, um, a home nearby. Uh, and we didn't want to get rid of it. This was actually about two years ago. and. Um, so we kept it and it just so happens that today is the day that we want to actually take it to a different color, okay? And the dresser's downstairs, we're going to do it piece by piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to sand it. And today I'm using the Ryobi, okay, sander. Could take a lot of time, alright, but got to start somewhere, got to test your, you know, the skills and what you're capable of doing. Our goal is to make this an antique white to match all our uh, furniture. So, but what you want to do is you want to not take off the wood. So you want to kind of give an even um, impact on the wood. Um, and you can see how we've done that. So we'll continue doing this and um, check back with us. tips and uh, today you can see we're in the second day of sanding and uh, refinishing our beautiful Dixie um, dresser here and you can see there's one two three four five six smaller uh, doors and there's three larger ones and you can see so we had picked this about five years ago um, up in Rhode Island and uh, it just sat around and I said I want some match my furniture I have now. So I have some antique white furniture. And so I've uh, gotten myself a sander, Ryobi, and it works pretty damn well. You can see the uh, sand in here. I could have gone the chemical way and stripped it, but uh, I want to sand it. So essentially, we're removing uh, this layer of paint here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably end up uh, staining it or painting it, we'll have to see. Um, but it has some nice cedar in there, and it's a solid piece of uh, of cabinet, pretty well made, it's Dixie. So, uh, if all is along, we'll show you the end result and when we finish with it. And for now, that's uh, whipsteps.com. Thanks for watching. fixtures on here um, you can see here so we'll simply turn around and if you can look inside here it's a simple screw so we'll unscrew this and we will replace it to match our uh, car fixture okay and thank you for watching and welcome back to whipstips.com um, so you can see we've finished uh, predominantly the drawers here now we have the body we just brought this upstairs uh, wasn't too heavy um, but now we're gonna sand the top and then we'll do the bottoms. And we'll do the sides. And again, we're gonna finish with an antique white finish and we'll see how it comes out. No reason to buy expensive furniture when you can pick something for less and refinish yourself. And thank you for watching and come back. Hey, welcome back to Whiff Tips. So uh, yesterday we went over to the Home Depot and we picked up some paint. We picked up some sandpaper and um, some primer. And fortunate for me, I did meet uh, a gentleman, while I was mixing the paint, who had over 30 years of experience in painting, as I have none, um, I needed some advice. I showed him what I was trying to do. The guy was very helpful. Uh, essentially, he told me to, uh, you know, we already sanded it. He told me we didn't need to do that. And then wipe down with a damp rag to get a little dust off it and so on. And let it sit and dry for about 24 hours. And the next day, mix a splash of dinner to put, um, and mix for two to five minutes and then wipe down with 
a damp rag, making sure all particles were off, and then um, you know paint with the uh, roller, let it dry, and then wipe off any particles, and put a second uh, coat. Again, let that dry. Um, if we want a distressed look, just um, take some sandpaper 400, and um, you know go that route. Do some slight sanding. So very helpful. Um, we have to sand it down nice and smooth and uh, take off some of the dust and we'll see how it comes out. We're also going to remove this uh, blue here, okay? Thanks for watching. Hey, so welcome back. Today, we're moving on to a different step here. We brought the uh, dresser in. Now we're going to clean it up a little bit. Uh, we finished the sanding. We are going to now um, wipe it off with a rag. And then we're going to start with the... What is that we're going to start with? The oil primer. The oil primer. So the oil primer we have here, um, the cover stain, and we're going to apply this nicely to the dresser here. Okay, and then we're going to let it dry for 24 hours. Um, in the interest of time, we have this here and we have a roller. So watch and see how it comes out. And see you in a little bit. Hey, and welcome back. So you can see our first layer of primer following the sanding. Next, we're gonna let this dry for about 24 hours. We've got some boxes around to prevent El Gato from licking and sticking. And uh, then we're gonna apply some paint in the next 24 hours and we'll see how it comes out there. For now, goodbye. Welcome back, and today's the day. So we let the dresser dry overnight uh, after priming it, and today we are going to begin painting it. Um, in terms of paint, we have a uh, antique white uh, finish. And uh, so we're going to start painting and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So welcome back. So we're here with the marquee um, paint, okay. We have what looks like a um, interior satin enamel finish and we are uh, using the antique white. We're mixing it around after putting the um, thinner in there. We'll do this for about five minutes and then we'll start a application onto the uh, pre-primed, uh, we did here, uh, Dixie Nine Draw Dresser. Interestingly, I previously had this uh, for sale about uh, four years ago. Um, we picked this for about a price of free, um, but you know, now we're moving, we wanted to uh, refinish um, this beautiful um, piece of furniture here and it's starting to look good so we're excited to see the end result and we're excited to show you too. Thanks for watching. Hey welcome back here. You can see the first layer or coat has been applied. We can wait this to dry a little bit and then uh, we'll come back and see what we have. Hopefully we're seeing the same color around what we had before and trying to keep the cat away. Um, Bailey's trying to get all in on the paint there. So We'll come back. 